Hey guys, my name is Joshua Johnson, and this is Rada J. Perry Mason Station, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how I made my magazine covering commercial art. Here we go. Like and subscribe. So for this project, we're going to be using a computer. We're going to be using an app called Photoshop, the blue app at the bottom. So we're going to click and open up Photoshop. This is Photoshop. Now we're going to open up the file that we're working on. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is go up to image and check your image size. You're going to want to make sure your resolution is between 200 and 300. Now click the OK button. Then move over to your right hand corner and click the search bar. Then search up the tool panel and press enter. Right now I'm using the layer panel tool. Okay, now that we have our screen organized, we're gonna minimize Photoshop and search up some reference pictures on Safari. Okay, this is the look that I'll be aiming for as my reference picture. Okay, now I'm just gonna grab my iPad, open Procreate, draw my picture, airdrop it to the computer, and then get started. Once that's done, we're going to go to Downloads, open up the file, and then drag it into Photoshop. Once you've dragged it in, Photoshop will automatically pop up on your screen, and it should look like this, or whatever picture you have on your screen. I highly recommend making it a habit to glance at your layer tool every now and then. Now we're going to use the wand, the magic wand tool. Since the background of my drawing is plain white, I have to do a simple click one time using the magic wand tool. A dotted pattern should then trace your object like you see here on my screen. Now you'll just simply copy and paste this to your project layers. Then be sure to turn off all your layers and focus on the one that you're working on. Now we'll make our way back to Safari in search of the logo of the magazine we're creating. Once you drag that into Photoshop, you'll repeat the magic wand tool. Our project should look like this thus far. Okay, and now to forest the base, which is the background. This one's actually real simple. It's self-explanatory. Just go to your grayscale, which I'm clicking on right now, and just go over here and simply draw lines and it'll create your background. Be sure to place your background image on the bottom layer. Now our project should be looking like this thus far. And last but not least, our curved words here. Now you're just going to simply go to the type tool, type in some random words. I'm going to type in my favorite anime character, Goku. Okay, sometimes your words may run off the screen, but you can just drag them back on. Next, you'll need to highlight the words. Now go up top to the text wrap tool, and you'll see a lot of options down here. I'm gonna go with the art tool. And you see it's transformed my words completely. And you can just play around with it until you like the way it looks. Then you just copy and paste in your words to look like this. Oh yeah, and the fonts are very easy. You can just go over here to the text and then click fonts and then just change the font to wherever you want it to be. Fairly simple. As you can see, my fonts are changing here on my screen. And behold, the finished product. Okay, now to save your project. Okay, you're gonna go up here to file, you're gonna click save as, then you're gonna go down there to your right hand corner, and then you're gonna click save again. It's gonna ask you to save a couple of times. I'm gonna name it Marcho since that's my character on here. And then after you do that, you just open it up and download. And this is how I made my magazine cover in commercial art. My name is Jared Charles Johnson. This has been Why the J Paper Mason Station, and see you next time.